The only reason I actually have these uh, Brother Hobby 0408 motors is because they just randomly showed up at Pyroflip one day and uh, Sergio said, hey, you're, you're flying micro stuff, why don't you give these motors a try? And I've showed you guys previously the silver motors that I had on my other micro quad, the little 50 gram thing from that secret company that um, I actually sent them the quad back along with a bunch of other parts for them to fly and test and see what they think because um, they're considering making that motor more cost effective for them to produce and actually producing that motor for sale. So I sent it back to them to try and test so I don't have that quad anymore. It flew great, but um, this motor, I'm, I'm more impressed with this motor and I'll tell you why. When I first built this quad, first of all, the quad weighs 44 grams. So it weighs a little bit more than the other quad. The motors are 3.3 grams a piece, which is really super light. The um, brush motors I was running on my other thing, which was um, 20 millimeter by seven millimeter, I don't know, whatever it was, those big brush motors, they were six grams a piece. So they weighed considerably more than this little Brother Hobby motor. And when I first got this and I first built it, I didn't have this drill bit. I didn't have this drill bit. So I couldn't bore out these props to put them on the prop shaft. These props only come, these are the 65 millimeter King Kong props, which I love, which are fantastic props. The community agrees they're fantastic props. Uh, I couldn't put them on the prop shaft because it's a 1.5 millimeter prop shaft and the prop only has a one millimeter um, hole. So I started running these props, the uh, Gemfan 2540, which were the easiest props to spin that I had at the time. And the quad really sucked. I mean, it's a 2S motor, by the way. It's only 2S and um, you can put 1S on it if you want, but that's kind of lame. And it just really sucked. It didn't have the power to spin the prop properly and it didn't have any performance at all. When I finally got this drill bit in the mail yesterday and I put it on this thing and I, I bored the thing out, I, it, it would, it's just a whole new, totally new quad. This thing flies awesome, awesome, awesome. It flies better than the silver motors. So now here's the problem. Well, there's one problem with the quad in general. The all up weight of this quad is about 69 grams and that's about 20 grams more than the other quad, which was about 50 grams all up weight. And at 69 grams, you definitely bend props. You definitely, as you can probably have noticed by now, break lenses if you run into stuff. With the other quad, I smashed it into everything and I couldn't even, damp I couldn't even bend a prop. But this quad definitely hammers these props a lot, a lot more. Not to mention the motors also draw considerably more amps because it, the battery just dies a lot faster. I'm getting maximum about two minutes flight time on this quad, although I'm using really small 400 milliamp 2S packs or 450 milliamp 2S packs. It, I really think a 550 milliamp 2S is probably ideal for this quad. The other main issue with this quad and this build and this frame and this whole thing general setup that I have here. It's really pretty, it's really nice. I'm sure people are, are super interested in, in building it and flying it. The problem is that it's just, it's too expensive. It, it's like building something like this, the 2.5 inch um, 1108 size craft is just marginally more expensive than building a little 2S quad. I haven't, I asked uh, Brother Hobby what the, the sale price on these motors are since I couldn't find them for sale anywhere at all to give you guys a price. And um, I haven't heard back from them yet because it's Chinese New Year. I'm expecting to hear back from them early next week. Hopefully they'll tell me the price. If the price is, is reasonable on the motors, which by reasonable, I mean under like, maybe like $10 max, maybe this quad is viable to build. But it, it, like, honestly, I have a hard time recommending this quad, even though it's really fun to fly, it's really, it's surprisingly powerful, and it's just really small, and it's super light, and it really doesn't bother anybody, it doesn't make any noise or anything. It's hard to recommend this quad when I know that something that has way more performance can be built for similar money. That being said, the way I smashed this lens is that I flew this quad uh, after flying this, this quad, <laughs> when I was trying to do those backwards things in between the trees. And then I flew this one and I totally forgot how little power I actually had on 2S. It just does not, does not even begin to compare, but it is really, really good for a 2S quad. I wouldn't have assumed it was 2S if somebody gave it to me to fly and nobody told me I was running 2S battery. So tell me guys what you think. I, I have a hard time gauging the market for this class or this size quad. And um, I'm going to find out more about these motors. And I do know that there's two companies or one company primarily that's really working hard to try and enter this size class with a very cost effective quad for the market. Um, yep, that's it for today. And uh, don't forget to floss. Bye bye. Yeah, I forgot to mention the motors are really good. <laughs> They're using really, really strong magnets. The aluminum seems good because I smashed it into something and it really it held up pretty well already. Um, 
the, the magnets are curved. I can verify that because I looked at them very closely when I was installing the motors. It, it's just overall a really good construction motor, as Brother Hobby motors are. You can expect Brother Hobby quality from these tiny little itty bitty motors as well, although I expect them to be Brother Hobby pricing as well. So I expect these motors to be probably in the $15 range, which is why I'm saying it's just too darn expensive. Okay, but